Good morning. Ooh, sexy morning voice. For those crib conscious safety inspectors out there, have no fears. I just put the bumpers on for decor right now. Baby's not going to be in there for like seven months, so it's just to look pretty. On to the video. Hey guys, I'm about to run out to my doctor's appointment, but I wanted to make a quick video, and yes, you get a tiny little sneak peek into their room. As you can see, it's not really ready. He's got Scarlett's bumpers on his crib. He's not going to be sleeping in here for like five or six months, but um, I just put him in there for now. Um, and so the room is not done yet. I have like three or four more things I need to buy and one or two more projects I need to finish. The door is going to come off the closet. So you guys got to give me a couple more weeks and I will try and get my stuff together and then I will fill your faces with this lovely space. I really do love it in here. I spend as much time in here with Scarlett as possible. You too, kid. You got to stay a couple more weeks because I'm not ready. I've been having some light contractions, folks. I'm getting checked today to see if there's any progress going on. I'm 36 weeks, I think. Yeah. All right, so here's the deal. This video is going to be kind of like a, an adventure video leading on to the actual adventure, but we're starting at the end. So if it were a treasure hunt, we're going to start with the treasure, and then I'm going to have you go back and watch the hunt to get there. What happened is Robbie B. Christie and some of my other YouTube friends got together and threw me an amazing surprise baby shower. They put months and months and months of worth of work into Mommy. it. Yes, baby. Sorry, I had to sort the beeble. I think she's okay now. Anyway, they put tons of work into it. Christy even sacrificed, you know, time of making videos for her channel and stuff while she was working on the baby shower, and it just turned out so amazing. But what's funny is, I filmed sort of a day in the lifestyle video leading up into it, which is its own adventure in its own right. Because there was torrential downpours, there was, um, Scarlett threw up for the only the second time ever in her life, like full on really puked. She was never a spitter upper or anything. That's one of the downsides of extended rear facing. We got lost in the woods, we had to do multiple U-turns, and pretty soon she got sick. Um, and it, it was just so ridiculous. There was down power lines on a car that was like right in front of us that, um, that everybody's okay. But anyway, I'm going to put up that video of me leading up to what I didn't know was my own surprise baby shower. Um, that's going to be up at the same time as this one, I think, and I'll link it at the end. But I also want you to watch... Christie's video that she made of the baby shower. It's a bit long for, you know, somebody who wasn't super invested in the day, but oh my gosh, it's like a it's a gift in its own right. It's like a time capsule for this little boy. He gets to see how he was celebrated and she just the way she timed the music and the things she captured. I just think I love it. <laughs> Speaking of stinking loving everything, I swear these people they act like they've known me my whole life. I know it's just YouTube and it's a weird thing to connect with people, real, actual people that you can like do this to. Not that I do that to them, but um, it, the gifts they gave me were so perfect. They were so hit the nail on the head Marie style gifts that I was completely floored with each and every single one. I wanted to burst into a straight up ugly cry with every gift sobbing. I didn't. But I could have. And I I was so touched by them. So I really want to share them with you because in the videos that Megan and um, Christy put up, it was kind of dark and you can't really see the gifts that well. So that's what we're going to do now. The end of the treasure hunt haul. I'm going to show you that now. Meet me at the end of this video. Hello, Heartburn. And um, we'll link you to the next part of the adventure going backwards. Yeah? Yeah. You follow me. So first off, my belly's going to keep getting in the shot here. Megan and Jess, Jolly Jess, sent me a bunch of diapers. And these actually arrived before she got here. And I'm just showing you a little sampling of them. But are they not the cutest prints you've ever seen? Some of these, these ones over here, are from Jess. And these ones are from Megan. Little boy things. Who knew they could be that cute? And then Jess also sent me this cute little sleeper. It's got a dino on it. It says little guy. Very cute. And then Megan also spoiled me with the Serena and Lily sleeper that's got the orange stars on it. Cute little hat and some little shirts. I love the little polo shirt. And a pair of shoes that totally look like him. She also said that there is another gift that didn't make it in time, so she sent it to Crystal. That girl knows how to spoil a person. Yeah, she does. See? Megan's so generous that something snuck out of the bag and I didn't even notice it till now. This is also from Megan and it is Baby Gap. It says Anchors Away and this entire top part is embroidered here. This is such a little stud shirt. My kid is such a little stud. Then not only did Christy do the amazing decor and put the whole party together, 
But she gave me these books, which I had pinned on Pinterest because I really wanted to get some classic books that I could display. And this is nice because this is like a gift for Scarlett too, so she got to feel special. Everybody's favorite, Amelia Bedelia and Madeline. And then this is one of the things I had pinned on my Pinterest that I wasn't sure I would ever get. <laughs> and so it really shocked me when I opened and saw this. And it's going to be part of the room decor as well. That is a quote from Where the Wild Things Are. And I love it so much, I think I'm going to turn it into a shadow box. And then while this is not the best display, you'll have to watch the video to see how she used these. I just wanted to show you how many different textures and papers and things that she incorporated into this party. I mean, there's so many different things here. And the colors, those are still my colors. Oh, Christy, I love ya. And Casey, who is Lincoln's mama, and she's our TTC Journey on YouTube, made this. Look, it's the actual Hucklebug. This is from the old stories. I think they're from like the late 70s or early 80s. And it's so cute. She collaged it all together. It's gonna go in his room. I just love it. This was another like total surprise to me. These are the patterns and fabrics that I fell in love with for making Huckle's quilt out of. Well, Carla happened to have some of those same patterns and fabrics at home, so she used it to make me a custom-made crib skirt for our mini crib. Mini crib bedding is actually more expensive than full-size bedding if you want to get nice stuff, so this was such a big deal, and I'm so excited about it. I haven't put it on the crib because I've been taking it around with me to different fabric stores as I'm matching up the rest of the quilt squares that I want to use for making his quilt. She also gave me the the Skip Hop backpack, the Fox version that matches that guy, but I've got it packed up in a bin and I, I showed it in another video. So anyways, thank you so much, Carla. I love these handmade things. And Crystal from Mrs. Fine Fettle. Oh my gosh, did she go all out and I hit the jackpot in every single step of the way here. First off, I think she said she found this at a consignment event and I think she said she got one for her little boy Brady too. But it's a knit sweater, you know that I love me a sweater, and it's children's place. I just love the colors, it's, it's amazing. She also got me these baby legs, which go with the little duck shirt, which is from Baby Gap. And it's a onesie, but it's got this top layer, like false shirt front. A duck in boots! It's a duck in boots! Oh, Lulu. And she made me two hats, not one but two, and look, this totally goes together. A little beanie, it's kind of smushed because I had it packed away in a bin, but a little beanie with the cute teal buttons and these gorgeous baby legs. I think she made the baby legs too. I think she's just too incredible for words. And a fox hat. Is that not the cutest fox hat that you've seen? And did she use a pattern? No, she didn't need one. She's just too amazing. Even the card she made is so sweet that I'm going to turn it into decor for his room. It's amazing too, and you'd think that that would be enough, but no. She gave us a tree. We have a tree in our backyard, and it comes with this like prayer for Huckle and about, you know, growing in legacy and strength and things like that. Could I, 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 I can't handle it. I cannot handle the generosity, the thought, the everything that these people stinking put into every stinking little measure of it all. There really are no words for any of what these people did for me. It's absolutely incredible. I'm ending it there. Wait. Look at that. Okay, now I'm ending it there. Since I'm showing baby shower stuff, I think I'll just include this. Scarlett's godmother threw me and my other friend who's expecting a baby shower, and we got, uh, both of us each got one of these beautiful little piggy banks and it's stuffed to the brim full of cash because they are super generous too. We got, all got to make our own pumpkin spice sugar scrubs and then she made us each a book that is full of advice and sentiments about us from our friends and each page is decorated so beautifully as you can see. Not yet honey, almost, just a second. So yeah, his nickname's gonna stick for a while because we've got it on a couple of things. And while you weren't supposed to bring gifts, one of my other friends snuck one in here. This is from Old Navy and it's so soft and it's got the perfect little fox motif okay. on. A uh, teddy bear. Yeah. My teddy bear all dressed up. He is all dressed up. It's got the um, fox thing that we're going for. Anyways, those are really soft and cute. If you guys are in the fox market, head to Old Navy. I love those things. 
now that you see what I got, now your assignment is to go watch the Day in the Lifestyle video that I'm putting up along with this one. I will link it next to my face here. Then over here, I'm going to link Christy's video because she captured the feel of what that party was about for me perfectly. Then you can watch Megan's perspective. Yes, you have three bits of homework here. Megan's perspective because she traveled from California with two kids, an infant and a toddler by herself, and she vlogged her perspective of the whole thing too. And her going through all of that is a gift in its own right as well. So that's your three bits of homework. If you really watch them all, all four of these videos, then you deserve a round of applause and a bow and a curtsy and a big old kiss on the lips. Come back here and I'll give them to you. Maybe. <laughs> okay, bye. Thank you guys. Bye.